the sorrel, you say you're going to boil the sorrel or you're going to draw the sorrel. So you can tell me how you're going to do it? I said, I'm going to clean pot for a while time there. <laughs> Light up the stove. I'll make it boil. <laughs> So today I'm with this lady and look at her sorrel. The sorrel are black instead of red. You can just tell me about that sorrel here, miss? I agree, don't do it. Some people call it Rasta sorrel. Yeah. Yeah, but the original is from um, real entry. They come all the way from um, Trinidad. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so it's not, it's not grown in Jamaica? No, you see it come from Trinidad. Ganja water. Ganja water. Yeah, that lady here, oh, she bad. Go oh, ganja water. <laughs> Oh my and God! Both in the Manchester area. Oh. Yeah, so it was originally from the Manchester area. Oh, so the seed is not from Jamaica, no, no, but no. it is grown in Jamaica. Jamaica yeah. All right. No, no, How no. much is a pair pound? Two hundred. All right. You can bag up. What? What a pound and a half? She just get. No, this is two pound now. Two pound. Yes. Yeah. Oh. All right. And, and, and you can draw two times. Because when you draw the first, you know, now when you draw the regular side first time, when you turn it white. Yeah. It's now when you draw it one time when you're done, it's still holy color. You can go again. Yeah, but it's going to taste the same way? Same way. All right. And you, you test it and try it before you come to sell it. You try it. You try it. That's why we tell you. That's why you know. Yeah. Yeah. They hear you? Instruction <laughs> time. So you're going to boil the sorrel or you're going to draw the sorrel. So you can tell me how you're going to do it? I said, we're cooking our pot for our time there. <laughs> Light up the stove. I'll make it wild. <laughs> 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 you, What's the procedure to do the sorrel? Uh, first, you're going to do Well, you can do it two ways. You can do it with the cinnamon leaf or without the cinnamon leaf, right? Yeah. So, cinnamon leaf, fermented seed, ginger. Greater the, well, I grate the ginger into the. Yeah, come on, I grate it to get yeah, more water in it. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. So, um, you boil the water with the ginger. Boil up the ginger, the cinnamon leaf, and the. Let me tell you the name again. Fermented seed? Yes. I make it boil up, and then you add the soil after you wash the soil and put it in there. Like, stay overnight. Yeah. And you're good to go. Or if you do it in the boiling, yeah. you can blend it. If you want. See, yeah, you I mean, hear a person say you can blend it. I've never it tried. Don't, don't blend it with the fermenter seed though. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just blend, blend the raw sorrel itself. Yeah, raw sorrel. And then after now, mm -hmm. you can add the fermenter seed and we'll play sweet it and leave it. Good to go. Add some white rum. And some white rum <laughs> if you're into the rum in <laughs> Alright, thanks. Not, yeah. So if you're not here all the time, how persons can reach if they want some good sorrel? Alright, you can contact me at 521 Shanty Moving Market. Alright. And I only sell sorrel and I sell ground provision as well. Oh! So I'm basically based in Puma on a Saturday, so yeah. I move around in the scheme and sell ground provision. Alright, no problem. Now come on, follow me as I go get some coconut water to wash off my heart and talk to Fat Man and hear what he has to say. I'm giving you a wonderful one with fresh meat and water, okay? Yes, so sir. This one for you. Hey. <laughs> okay. Well, how you, how you know when, when they're not so hard or when you know when it's a jelly? Oh, and it's soft the ball. Okay. Yep, wonderful. You'll throw it in the cup. All right, the cup down. I'll put it down. And the cup to bite. Yeah. Boy. See how much juice I'm getting from the one coconut. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. What I said, wash your heart out. <laughs> wash up my heart. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, move it. Sorry. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome, sir.
How long are you doing this? Can you look like you're a professional? Three, three years? Months. Oh, three, really? What about the Jamaican and the ex squadron from the army? Oh, you were in the army? Yes. Oh, so, have a great, great well. so these things you don't know how to do in a train and go out? I have to go out to survive, survive in the jungle. Yeah? So, yes. Easy thing. Why are the brand Jamaican and the grandparents tie it from Zaris? Wow. So go with it. You understand? Yeah. And as you grow, you pass it on to the younger to your generation. kids and your kids, yes. kids, your grandchildren. So it could always be a part of a Jamaican culture. Yeah. Wow. To chop the coconut and be a good vendor. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. Wow. But some people doesn't. Because <laughs> that's too much work. Uh -huh. I think it's politically incorrect. Yeah. I saw a man took his beer hand and yeah. Whoa, you can't do that. Well, I ain't gonna try it. <laughs> no, but but if I right, but suppose you're out in the yeah. jungle if and you don't have no tools. Yes, if I have to, then I will have to. Yeah. I would have to put my mind to the task. Yeah. yeah. And do it. Yep. Mm -hmm. But so fortunate, um, I have my cutting board. Yes. And my tooth, you know. <laughs> and when, when you're going in the army, certain things and all this, I have to have certain yes. something with you guys, won't you? That's right. Okay. Uh, they'll train you. I mean, for me, I have to be in it, whatever yeah. cutting tool. You have to chop bush, whatever. Yes. Please to train and survive. Don't wow. let the en enemies get you. Yeah. Wow. So there you go. So you liked it? Yes, the army taught you a lot. Wow. The army taught you a lot. So when you leave the army, it's still you. It's still in you. Yeah, yeah, it's still in you. Because so the skills them that you yeah. learn, yes. they can't go out, out of you. That's right. Oh. So see, I get my coconut juice. Mm -hmm. And I, and I get the meat. What's your name, sir? What's your name? Horace. Horace. Yeah, but here they call me Fat Man. They call you what? Fat Man. Fat Man? <laughs> you fat? Which when one? I was young. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but if you didn't have army, you never fat. No. Yeah. So how yeah. Fat Man come about? I was a little youngster. Uh-huh. I got hearing. <laughs> Love the little fluffy boy they call Fat Man. Yeah? And he just went to me my age. Wow. You so it's something I'm Florida. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a name that given by my grandparents and generation of it. Yeah, There's yeah. The kids who born after this thing. Fat man! <laughs> I don't know, I'm kidding, man. But... <laughs> For the name, it already so the name can't it's change. Alright. Uh, one will always be recognized in my community, even if I go away and come back. Yeah. Uh, that name, we all know. Stick to you. Yes. So, okay. Alright. Yes. And it's a pleasure. My work is a pleasure serving you. And thanks for buying my company. Thank you so much. So there you have it guys. A very interesting day with some interesting Jamaicans. Them full of vibes, vibes can done. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed chilling with me as I enjoy my day. You say fat man coconut, water and meat sweet. Remember to like, share, subscribe to Claudia's Corner. Hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified when my videos are released. Thank you for watching.